On October 7, 2014, the auction house Kunka in Osnabrück is going to sell the first part of the horn collection. We would like to show you a number of selected pieces and tell you their stories. The Otto Horn Collection came into being on December 4, 1880. Horn's father was a baker, had set up a thriving wine trade, and, as royal purveyor to the court, belonged to the dignitaries of Meissen. After his father's death, Otto Horn, aged 24, took over the management of the family business. The profits he invested in several impressive collections. Otto Horn was interested in paintings and sculptures, watches and books, and in everything related to his hometown, Meissen. Of special interest to us is, of course, his coin collection. It originally comprised 65,000 objects and is considered the last one of the once numerous privately owned universal coin collections in Saxony. Before his death on May 7, 1945, Otto Horn stipulated in his will that a foundation was to be established, to be named the Otto and Emma Horn Foundation, after his parents. His coin collection was to be sold at an auction and the revenue used as the foundation's seed capital. But historical events confounded this plan. In 1954, political representatives of the GDR decreed to make the collection, by then reduced to some 45,000 coins, available to the state-owned coin collection in Berlin, whose inventory had been removed and transported to the Soviet Union. When it was returned in 1958, the Horn Collection was moved to the Dresden State Art Collections. An official lease agreement with the city of Meisen was in effect until 1985. When it expired, the Dresden Coin Collection would have liked to acquire the collection while the city of Meisen wanted it back. The dispute was brought before court with an outcome that no one had anticipated. The judge decided that the collection's rightful owner wasn't the city of Meisen, but the Otto and Emma Horn Foundation. All parties concerned finally arrived at an agreement in 2010. The Free State of Saxony was to provide 500,000 euros for acquisitions so that objects of relevance for Saxony's history could remain in Dresden. We, the Auction House Kunke, are proud to auction the rest of this incredible collection and therewith finally execute Otto Horn's will after almost 70 years. And we're delighted to present to you a large assortment of beautifully preserved coins, which in this quality are hard to come by. For instance, this Belgian one franc piece from 1867. It is not that rare, but have you ever seen it in such immaculate mint state? Inconspicuous fractions in mint state quality, like, for example, this French 50 centime from 1852, are particularly difficult to find. This exemplar is from Greece. On the obverse, the quarter dram from 1833 shows a portrait of Otto I, son of the King of Bavaria. But also, fans of high denomination silver coins will be pleased. This double Schautaler was struck in West Friesland in 1596. The reverse depicts Neptune as master of the sea, holding the trident in his right hand and riding a sea monster. In the background, one can see ships before a coast. This coin is powerful testimony to seafaring being highly important to the Netherlands in the 16th century. Just remember this. In 1596, the year in which our coin was struck, Dutch ships were sailing to Indonesia, Java, and Sumatra. And only five years later, the Dutch East India Company were to set up their central camp in Horn, West Friesland. Of course, the collection includes many rarities from the German states. One example is the small series of Klippe coins from Braunau. They were made in 1743, during a siege of the city which took place in the context of the War of the Austrian Succession. The Bavarian general Louis Frederick of Saxe Hildburghausen had the coat of arms of the House of Wetten, crowns on a striped background, engraved on his Klippe coins who were first manufactured from household and church silver. When the precious metal supply was exhausted, lead was used instead. And this already brings us to the Saxon part of the collection. It comprises several extremely rare collector's items, like this magnificent Bracteat from Brautzen, which depicts the margrave with sword and palm leaf. Above, you can see a three-towered castle. This PA4 in the weight of one Reichsdollar was struck in Dresden in 1610 with half Reichsdollar dies. 
On the obverse it depicts Christian II, Elector of Saxony. His younger brothers John George I and August grace the reverse. Speaking of which, there's a number of piefors in the catalog. Take this extremely rare commemorative coin here. You're looking at one of the Saxon Vicariates Munson from 1657. Emperor Ferdinand III had died on April 2nd of that same year. Not just his son, but several other German princes and even the French king pretended to his throne. Lengthy negotiations ensued and turned this into the longest interregnum in German history. It wasn't until August 1st, 1658, that Leopold I was finally crowned. The main beneficiary of the long interregnum was the prince-elector of Saxony, who had meanwhile acted as regent in large parts of the Holy Roman Empire and had his own agenda. It is this period of Saxon history which is commemorated with this coin. Another particularly delightful object is this butterfly groschen. It was presumably used as toy money and often linked to the Countess of Kosel. She was one of the mistresses of Augustus the Strong and lived at his court when this piece was minted. Highlight of the Saxon coins is this half Reichsdollar from 1654, issued on the occasion of Bernhard II, Duke of Saxe-Jena, taking over the rectorship of the University of Jena. Wilhelm, Duke of Saxe-Weimar, Bernhard II's father and minting authority of this coin, had also studied at this university. Now he appointed his son Bernhard, later to become the Duke of Saxe-Jena, rector of the university the moment he began his studies there at the young age of 16. And while we're at it, there is another highlight that we do not want to keep from you. We present to you the most expensive item of this part of the collection. It is a triple Reichsdollar from Mainz, minted in 1639. Archbishop Anselm Casimir Vambold von Umstadt, whose portrait you see here, was known in the Holy Roman Empire as Cicero Germanicus, the German Cicero, due to his great rhetoric talent. We, the Auction House Kunka, would like to invite you to our October auction sale 2014. If we have sparked your interest in the Horn Collection with this film, we cordially invite you to join us in our auction sale 255 on Tuesday, the 8th of October, 2014. Please do not hesitate to contact us in case you have any further questions.